Here you can see old permanent makeup on my older client. Today we are going to do a removal for her and first things first, we have to disinfect the area where we will work. Second eyebrow too. We are using flat needle with four needles inside the cartridge and chemical removal solution. When I work on a thin skin, also when I touch your brows or when I do removal, I always make my needles very, very short because I don't want to go too deep. And small circles. in the area where we will need to remove the pigment. My pressure is really, really soft. Small circles. very softly and we can see it already works over here we will move the client's head a little bit and we continue this procedure never takes a long time but you have to make sure that you go over the whole brow I go over the brow once. My client already had few removals and she also had few times her brows done. We continue over here with the same movement. We try to have a good sc scratch, <laughs> good stretch. You can already see over here that it's working. We can see gray color under the red color. Because of the more layers of the old permanent makeup. Somewhere we can see a little bit of blood and it's okay. We can beautifully see how it's starting to work in the skin. Be careful and work only where you see the old color. We are near the front of the brow. It 
these circles works very well for me. A little bit more and we are done with this brow. Okay, here you can see the eyebrow after the removal and here we have another eyebrow where we will start working right now. So circles. And around 90 degree angle. Sometimes I don't feel comfortable with 90, so I go a little lower. This way. So, this part quite well. We see that this part is the darkest part on the brow. Don't forget good stretching and make sure that you know what kind of solution you are using. There is a lot of different chemical removals and you have to know how to work with them. And we are almost done. It depends how big the brows are and how saturated they are. But in general, this procedure takes around 15 minutes to 45 minutes with one good pass. A little bit more over here. One more minute and that's it. I will see my client in around two months and I will see how the brows will look if they are softer and we will see what we will do next. Here you can see the brows after the removal procedure. The color will come back in a few hours and then in next two months we will see how they will how they look and how much they will get softer and then we will choose if we will continue with chemical removal or we will do laser or it will be soft enough to do a new procedure. Have a nice day!